Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. I have an exciting video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Soul Resin Factory. Uh, I just got a bunch of this stuff in and I put up a little announcement about it and a lot of you guys knew nothing about that. So what I thought I would do today is I took a wide variety of their product and thought I would show you inside what a lot of these look like. Now they are primarily known for making 35th scale and 16th scale accessories. Uh, they've, they've got a bunch of different stuff that will convert my Sherman and my Tiger into other things. Uh, some different varieties of that. Plus they have like the Jeep trailer, all kinds of stuff in 16 scale, plus 35th scale as well. So today we're just going to rip into a bunch of these and show you what's inside. All of this and a lot, lot more is available on our website, andyshhq.com. The only thing that we don't have on there yet is the 35th scale. We are going to have that soon, but we have a lots and lots of the 16th scale stuff in stock right now. So uh, definitely you want to be very excited to see this stuff inside. Plus also, just to let you know, we've got our new Andy's Hobby Headquarters t-shirts. Uh, some new ones that you'll see right after I'm done talking right here. They're also available on our website. So... Well, we've got a lot to look at, so let's get started. Here is the very first uh, model kit that I want to share with you guys. This is the 16 scale World War II U.S. Army T3 trailer designed to go with the TACOM 16 scale Jeep. And this is great because it's a tow behind vehicle. It's great for dioramas. It's not huge. You can fill it full of all kinds of uh, value gear aftermarket products. This is something that is really, really needed. And Soul is uh, filling that, uh, that little void that exists out there. Now I did get a small batch of these uh, about a month ago. And as soon as I saw them and we put them up on our website, they were gone within an hour. So now we have a much bigger supply of them. And now I get to actually open one up. And keep in mind, too, uh, there'll be a much more in-depth on this because I actually am going to build one of these up. I want one for, for my vehicle. And uh, I'll have a full build video on it fairly soon. But right now, I'm just going to show you the parts that come inside. So to start off with, we have our, uh, our bed and sidewalls here see here it uh is resin cast resin so it does need a, a tiny bit of cleanup nothing major as you can see here maybe a little tiny bit of sanding this is where the plugs attach right there and i actually started sanding that a little bit but it's something that'll go together very very quickly uh just cut off the little nubs and i'll actually point out to the little nubs because remember this is uh cast stuff some stuff that they make is 3d printed but these parts are all resin cast here. So there is the size of the actual uh, trailer itself. You also get uh, the road wheels, as you can imagine. And these are all done up in a way that you can see it's got all of the proper markings, the Firestone on the side, all the lettering, and that's just the inside. So the outside got it as well too. So they did full detail both inside and out of the wheels. And we've got our inner hubs here. Uh, and then a whole bunch of other little accessories. So we've got like our leaf springs. All this has just got to be cut off of the uh, the runner here for the resin. Got a couple of leaf springs. We've got our shocks. And then this is our uh, tow mount right here. It comes with a uh, five gallon fuel can and it's got all the other parts too to it. You just have to glue it together and build it. And then of course there's parts like the axle. And finally, things like the lights. Things like that so you get a full kit and then there is a uh, photo etching here these are the brackets that are already ready to go you fold them this is the uh, the area where the actual uh, leaf springs attach and here's some other little brackets from underneath and you also get a little bit of chain too this would be the backup chain to hook it to the actual jeep so that gives you an idea and actually i'm just going to move all these other parts these are all the other little accessories that actually come inside the kit Okay, next up we have a conversion kit. And this is the IDF or Israeli Defense Force 
M50 Super Sherman conversion kit. And what that means is this is not a full model. This requires you to purchase the Andy's Hobby Headquarters 16 scale Sherman. Either the uh, the early or the late, either one will work. The late might be a little bit more accurate because of the tracks that come on it with the T80 tracks. Uh, but either one of them will technically work for this and you'll use a lot of parts off of my kit and plus the parts that come in here and you will have a uh, IDF M50, which is pretty cool in there. So let's uh, cut this one open and show you what comes inside the conversion kit. Okay, here is the very first piece and it is a a lot of resin right here, as you can imagine. Here is the, uh, the M50 turret. Now, what the Israelis did was they took a, a standard Sherman turret and they cut it up quite a bit and because they were putting a bigger gun on here as well as they needed room in the back. So they literally cut the back of the, uh, the Sherman off and then added this piece to it. And then you can see they just went down the line and just put a whole bunch of weld uh, beads all around to attach it to it. So here is the M50 turret. All ready to go. I'd say it's probably a good eight, nine ounces of resin right here as well. You can see all some of the extra pieces that were attached on there. And what will happen is on this is you will use the uh, commander's cupola and the loader's hatch and a few of these other parts right off my kit that will fit right into place on here. So here is the first big part. Uh, you also will get a uh, turned aluminum barrel. And this will replicate the M50's barrel. You can see right there, that's one of the other pieces. Plus you will also get the engine deck. So when the Israelis took the, uh, the Shermans, they changed the engines around on them. Uh, I believe they put diesels inside and with the diesels, they needed to change the engine deck. So this is a new engine deck, which will replace the one that comes on my kit. Okay, also included in the kit is a new uh, matlet uh, with uh, all of this extra armor protection plus the canvas already molded in. These little squares right here need to be cut off. Those are part of the molding process, but you can see it'll plug right into place here once those are taken off. So give you an idea what the front's going to look like. You will also get the searchlight and it also has a clear lens for the searchlight that gets mounted up on top you will get a variety of boxes and stowage bins that the Israelis put all over the side of their vehicle. And also the covers. These are the, once again, got to clean up all the little extra pieces on it, but these are the engine covers that'll get put into place just like that on either side of the vehicle. Move that off to the edge. Here is a bag of little tiny accessories. So first of all, we have uh, five gallon cans of, for uh, either fuel or water. I'm not sure if these are might be water or might be both, depending on how you paint them. And there's all kinds of other little accessories inside here. And rather than try to lose any of these pieces, I'm just gonna leave it inside this bag here, but you get the general idea of what I'm talking about. Plus also you're gonna get lots of 3D printed parts. And I'm gonna be very careful with these cause I don't wanna take any of these off yet. So we've got like spare track, the, the ring that goes around uh, on part of the, I believe the turret here. And then you've got, looks like this is the 50 cal machine gun that gets mounted up on there and even. And that is all of the parts that you get. So basically everything you'll need to convert it into the Israeli version. Okay, next up, I've got a little smattering of different 16 scale, whether it be figure sets, or accessories for other 16 scales. Uh, to start off with, we have things like this. You have a set of four half crew members, uh, or even in this case, quarter crew members, just stuff that you put inside the turret. And that way you have something for, uh, in this case, my 16 scale Sherman. Uh, we have things like this. This is a set of figures, two set of figures for my Tiger kit. Uh, then there's individual figures too, like uh, this, this SS soldier sitting on the back of the Tiger or soldier standing on the side, which I'm gonna open this one up and show you actually what the parts look like in there. This guy's really cool. This guy is an SAS uh, car raider and got the beard and uh, just a, a grizzled look to him. That's pretty cool. Plus they make things like this. This is a set of 
chain tires. So if you want to put chain tires on for like a snow scene for the Tacom Jeep, we've got those. And they also have things like this, uh, fire extinguishers, all 3D printed, or no tech uh, Bosch lights, things like that. Now, as promised, I'm gonna just slide all this out of the way and I'm gonna open up the, uh, the figure, let you see what the quality looks like of here. So there is a little bit of cleanup because it's resin. It's gotta be, you know, like these little, little barb things on the end have to be cleaned off. But you can see here we have, these are the magazine holder pouches for the MP40. So we've got some of those. We've got nice looking uh, base for the figure including those uh, stick grenades shoved into his, uh, his belt. Nice fur detail on the inside of his uh, liner of his jacket. You got his feet and uh, shoes, nice bloused out. And this is really cool looking here too. This is the MP40. Just like that. And the most important thing, the head. And in this case, you're gonna get two different heads, either one with the helmet with the uh, netting on it or just the, the cap, both winter. The, he's obviously in a position that he's yelling, but very nicely sculpted on the heads. So you get your choice on that. And then of course, like I said, uh, you get all these other little accessories. Here's part of the jacket with the canteen and mess kit and then here's his other hand too he's pointing yelling at someone pointing so and also you get his knife too which is very finely molded so that is what one of the standard figures and in this case it's this guy right here you can see he's in that position holding his gun yelling just like that and since we're talking about figures, I thought I would show you this one other set here. Now, these are five full figures. This set is fairly new, and it is very cool. So you get five full figures to go inside the Tacom Jeep. So you've got two guys in the front, a BAR gunner sitting in the back, and a guy that is ready to fire the 50 cal plus an MP on the outside. Every one of these figures is available separately. They sell each one that if you want just that guy, this guy, this guy, whatever. But uh, they do have this set here. All five figures inside and you get a little bit of a discount too on it compared to what you would pay if you bought each one of the figures individually. But uh, looks really good when it's all set up around the actual Jeep there. Also, I'm gonna show you a couple of 16 scale track kits that they've just come out with. So they did just come out with a set of T80 tracks, which will work on my Sherman. Like that. Now this is the one that I wanted to show you the most, and we'll actually open these and let take a look. This is T84 track. So this is the type of track that if you want to do a correct uh, Fury tank. Now I know Fury is not set up as a World War II tank the way they have it, because the tracks are completely uh, way after World War II, but these would be good on either the Israeli version that if you wanted to upgrade the Andy's Hobby Headquarters one to the Israeli version to put these T84 on, that would be a good option right there. Or if you want to just make the, uh, the uh, Fury tank the way it is. Now, the beauty of all of these is these are already ready to go for you. So there's not really an assembly process. They're 3D printed and they've already been cleaned off of the sprue. So you've got your guide horn already on there. Uh, the only thing you need to do is use these. These are the uh, track pins and they are 3D printed as well. So you get a bag for left, bag for right. It's all cleaned up. So pretty much you could have these together pretty quickly. Uh, Without that, you would be working on it for quite a bit of time trying to get them all to work. But as you can see here, they are ready to go right out of the bag. Sorry about the glare. I just don't want to open these up and lose all the parts on all these here. But that is the sets of tracks that they have coming out as well. And since we're talking about figures, um, you've seen all, or not all, you've seen a little, little feature of 16 scale. But now what I'd also want to show you is that they make 35th scale as well. And what these are is these are the same figures that they have in 16th scale, scaled down, and they're 3D printed. So here we have our British SAS uh, Patrol Raider, just like the 16th scale. And he has been 3D printed on, uh, I 
know it'd be kind of hard to see in there but the quality is equal to the uh, the 16 scale just in a smaller form we have our soldier here that was yelling that we showed you the in-depth look on so keep a look eye out for these we will be carrying these very very soon all of the 35th scale stuff uh, right now we just started with the 16th but now that i see the 35th we'll definitely be getting this stuff on as well and speaking of that what i wanted to show you too is is this kit uh, i thought i grabbed it earlier but i guess i forgot about it this is the british sas quarter ton uh, patrol car conversion kit. So this is full of resin parts to take the TACOM Jeep and turn it into this SAS Jeep. And it includes the figure, the machine guns, all of the packs, the uh, extra fuel cans, uh, photo etch, all kinds of stuff, extra road wheel or spare tires, just all kinds of really cool stuff to turn it into this British long range vehicle. Very, very cool looking decided to open up inside there uh, beyond all of the resin that you see here uh, it also includes a decent amount of photo etch too for the vehicle so that is included inside and it even has stuff like this this is uh to make a uh i guess c rations are these c rations yeah c rations so you have this in there the photo etch and then all of this resin look at the guy's face very nicely done. And this is for the 16 scale TACOM kit. And lastly, I've got a sneak peek of this right here. I don't have all of the parts to show you, so it's gonna be its own separate video, but here it is. Here is the 16 scale Jagdpanzer 38T, often referred to as the Hetzer. And this is going to be a resin kit, full resin kit. Uh, and very excited about this because I, want actually a, a Hetzer to go with my my lineup of all my 16 scale vehicles and we will have it in this so what I'll do on this is uh as soon as I get all of the parts I, w I am going to build this up and first I'll, I'll show you guys all of the parts show you all the resin parts and then we'll do a build video on this as well because this is going to go great with all of my 16 scale stuff but this is kind of like a little sneak peek uh that it is coming out and we're very happy to share that with you and as soon as you get some more information on it like price things like that i will share that actually probably with the actual uh, preview video because by that time we'll know everything about this well, there you go, guys. There is a look at Soul Resin Factory. And as you can see, they've got some beautiful items. Great stuff in 16 scale. Uh, also keep in mind too, as soon as I get the complete kit, I will do a complete breakdown of the Hetzer in 16 scale. Very excited about this one. And also the Jeep trailer. I plan on building one of these up. In fact, I've already started building this a little bit. Uh, it's gonna go so nice with the, uh, the Tacom one. So very excited about that. So there you go, guys. I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. And please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.